In the previous video, we have seen the construction up to the plinth beam level. Hi friends, thanks for your supports and reviews for our previous video. In this video, we are going to watch the superstructure about the plinth beam. This is the drawing of our column. It is 35 by 21 cm column with 6 number of 12 mm dia bars with stirrups. We had laid steels for the upcoming columns from below. They are raised according to the height of the column. In the case where lintel is constructing after the column, we have to provide extra steels at lintel level for connecting with lintel. For this, two steels are fixed on each side and is folded by a paper piece on the end for its easy identification after deshuttering. Now, steel framework of the column is ready. Setting out is done and the outer line of the columns are marked in the cement sand paste. A small shoe, also called starter, is made there for proper arrangement of column shutter. On the next day, shutter of the shoe is removed and the column shutter is fixed tightly on that shoe. Shutter should be vertical. For that, an apparatus consists of two woods of equal dimension and a rope with a weight is used. When woods come parallel, the column shutter is vertical. Plumb bob is also used to check verticality. It is repeated on four sides. When the shutter comes in correct vertical position, it is fixed using the supports on four sides. Now it is ready for concreting. Before concreting, inside formwork is made wet by pouring water. Concrete mix is poured and is compacted very well. Pouring and compaction repeats up to the required level. After 24 hours, the formwork is removed gently. This is our column. Like this, we built all column structures. Curing is to be done from now. Curing is to be done preferably to 14 days at regular intervals or at least to 7 days. Jute packs are used for the presence of moisture in the surface. Frames of doors, windows and ventilations can be of different materials like wood, concrete, steel, etc. For wood frames, we applied thermate proof material and wood primer. In steels of windows, metal primer is applied. Place of activity is clean and made wet. Mark the position where door frames is coming. Door frame is placed. A rope is laid through the upper hand of frame to the two sides and is connected to a block. Now the door frame is made vertical using the plumb bob. All sides are checked. The frame is then fixed in this vertical position by tightening the rope to the block on both sides. Other door frames are fixed in the same way. For making the top of all door frames in the same level, a leveling apparatus of a small hose with water inside is used. The ends of the hose is positioned upwards at the top of door frames. When the second frame comes in the same water level of the first frame, it is fixed in that position. Hole first are fixed to the frame for connection with the messenger. After this, masonry works are done on its sides. Masonry can be done by using cement blocks, bricks, laterates, etc. We are using laterates of size 33 by 19 by 21 cm. Also, some bricks to fill gaps. Rope is laid after setting out. The place is cleaned and watered. Cement mortar is applied. Laterates are placed in the cement mortar with small gaps in between. Cement mortar is applied on gaps and is compacted and leveled using towel. These are joints. It is also applied on sides for good bonding. Plumb bob and leveling stuff are used for leveling. Above this layer of laterate, cement mortar is applied. Then the next layer of laterate is laid and the steps are repeated. The cement mortar is prepared by mixing one bowl of cement with six bowl of sand with adequate water. The edges of middle layer laterate is in the center of lower and upper layer laterate and vice versa. This is structure bond and this pattern will give good bondage. After three or four layers of laterates, we have to think about the window frameworks. If there is any decorations coming below, it is done now. Window is placed. Using two side open holes with water inside, height is corrected. Leveled using plumb bob and leveling staff. It is fixed in that position using a rope tightened on both sides. Then laterates are laid on both sides. If there are alamaras coming inside the wall, their position is marked and the laterates are not laid there. Ventilations are also fixed in the same manner as that of doors and windows. 
the top level of doors, windows and ventilations are same so that lintel is coming above this level. Lintel is usually given at a height of about 2.1 meter. For work of lintel is fixed, steel works are prepared. We used 4 number of 8mm dia bars interconnected by stirrups. It is placed on foam work above the curb block. If there is any window shade or decorations or bird slab is coming in this level, it should be considered. The foam works and steel works are done and they should be interconnected with the lintel to make Side slab of alamaras in future, steel works are given from lintel. We had provided steels in column at 2.1 meter level to connect with lintel. The paper is identified and the steels are taken out using the chisel. They are connected to lintel steel for good bondage. The gaps between the joints of foam works are closed to prevent the leakage of slurry. On the day of concrete, what are the foam works? Concrete mix is placed. It is vibrated or tamped well, then leveled using floats and towels. Lindel thickness is 15 cm. Concreting of bird slab and window sheets were done along with this. They have thickness 10 cm. Curing is done continuously after it hardens, preferably for 14 days or at least to 7 days. After the removal of side shutter, laterite works can be continued up to the roof level. And 2.4 meter level, we had an extra structure of pergolas and small slabs on the second floor. They were constructed. Height of one floor is 3.06 meter, so laterite works are done to this level. Small spaces are left above for the air movement. These are the drawings of our staircase. Some are straight and some are round steps with rise equal to 16.6 cm, thread equal to 27.5 cm and width equal to 90 cm. The positions are marked on the floor or ground according to the plan. Now woods are arranged and shuttering is done according to the shape of steps. Suitable supports are given for round steps, cardboard are used for getting proper shapes. 8mm dia steels are used for its work. They are cut suitably and suitable rings are prepared. It is laid on the foam work above the cover block. Our staircase starts from first floor. So we had laid steel for that from the slab. This steel is connected with the steel of staircase. In case if steps are built from ground, a footing is needed for it. A square footing with 3 feet side is made usually and the steel raised from it is connected to the steel of staircase. Now. It's time for concrete. Foam work is cleaned and is watered. Concrete mix is placed. The metal used for it is 3 by 4 inch or 1 by 2 inch or a mix of them for the concrete mix to go through the small gaps of reinforcement. It is properly compacted. Thus, concreting is over. Curing is done. Jute packs are laid for proper curing. After 21 days, we removed the shutter. We had an extra structure called retaining wall or RCC wall. This is to withstand the load of soil coming on one side of building. We used 8mm and 10mm dia bars. Waterproof material is added while concreting. Shuttering and concreting is done by two parts on two days. Up to now, we have constructed foundation, plinth beam, columns, door frames, masonry, window frames, ventilations and masonry, lintel and masonry above lintel. Now we are going for roof slab construction. Foam works of roof beam and roof slab are to be made. This is the drawing of roof beam. Of the 30 cm height of beam, 10 cm is in the roof slab. That is, roof beams and slabs are interconnected. Foam works of roof beam is done first, then that of roof slab. It can be of woods or steel sheets. Bamboo sticks or props are used for supporting the shutter. It is firmly fixed on the ground. All gaps between the shutter sheets are closed to prevent the leakage of slurry during concrete. Now steel works. For beams, we used 16 mm dia bars. They are made at a height and then lowered to the shutter and placed above cover block. 8 mm dia steels are usually used for roof slab. In our first roof, we used 10 mm and the remaining two roofs we used 8 mm. Slab steels are placed correctly so that it can carry load safely. They are tied using binding wires. Cover blocks are provided at regular intervals. 
After finishing the steel framework, it should be checked by a professional engineer. 20mm pipes are usually laid through the roof for the passage of electrical wires. This is for ensuring aesthetics. Fan points are marked in the shutter using the plan. Hooks of the fan is laid there along with the pipes. It is covered with paper so that it can be easily taken out after deshuttering. Both the openings of pipes are covered with insulation tape to prevent the entry of concrete and other particles. The other end of the pipe is given to the nearby wall. Other electrical works are done later. Some hooks are laid in parapets, some in rooms for cradles, etc. LED box if needed is also laid. All these hooks and pipes are tightened to the steel with the binding wires. Clean the foam work by removing sawdust, wooden chippings, paper pieces, etc. It is the day of roof concrete. Concrete is prepared in mixer arranged in the ground. In one mix, we used one bag of cement, four bowl of M sand and six bowl of 3 by 4 inch metal. It can be transported either manually or by using hoist with bucket. Ready mix concrete can also be used. Water the foam work before placing concrete. Otherwise, it will absorb water from concrete. Concrete is placed in foam work using bowls. Thoroughly vibrator using mechanical vibrator. 10 cm is the required thickness of slab. A measured wood of 10 cm is used for this. Concreting is done up to this level. After the vibration, using straight edge, excess concrete is stuck off by moving back and forth and is leveled. Then wooden floats are used to remove further irregularities. Aggregates are firmly embedded inside using it. Then by using towel, it is smoothened further. Then it is allowed to harden. When it hardens, surface moisture is maintained by splashing or spraying water without force. For proper curing, small buns are made in border using lean concrete. Water can be filled at regular intervals and maintains temperature for good setting. After 21 days, foam works were removed. Carefully looking after the work and doing it in the proper way will give us the satisfaction of building a good house. Hope you will review the work. Send your opinions and suggestions to my email ID. Thanks for watching. How do you feel on watching this video? We as a team worked together to bring this video in front of you do you know one thing all these clips which you see in this video is shooter in a mobile phone and all this audio is recorded using a mobile device so if you have some requirements don't hesitate to contact us